Okay, yeah. Lars, uh, the stage is yours. And uh, we will just leave and hope that, this, that the backstage will not just uh, break down and you will start your, uh, um, your presentation. If it does break down, I will be back in 10 seconds. So, all right. Thank see you. you very much. If, if, if there is a, an issue and I can't show my screen, just tell me. Uh, thank you very much uh, for letting me speak here today. Um, I just need to skip all this. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to my session at uh, Leaving Serverland. Um, I hope you can uh, see my screen now. Uh, there was a delay, and I'm now having the tab hopefully transfer to you. What you get here from me is a brief lightning talk for about roughly 15 minutes. My name is Lars Bachmann. Some of you may know me already, if not connect. I'm more than happy to answer all of your questions later on. Always get you a call. On the last slide, you will find my contact details. And since we are a proud sponsor of the Atlassian community in Brandenburg, we have a virtual booth as well. Please make sure you pass by and say hi to my colleagues. And I, need, I, would, I would love to address a very special thanks to Jörg and Hubert who made this possible and to the other partners that are involved. I think that that experience here with the Hopin platform is, uh, yeah, sort of very, very good. And you really can connect to each other and have an interaction that I haven't seen before. So I'm really impressed by that one. Um, just a very brief introduction. I'm head of sales from Demicon, and we are one of these Atlassian Platinum Solution Partners. Uh, we have an um, expertise hub in Berlin, but please don't get fooled. That's surely not because I'm living in Berlin. That's because of my colleagues. Yes, you all heard the news. You all read about it. End of server boom long expected and now announced but seriously anyone around who was really 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 surprised i truly understand from an emotional point of view all the objections that might be around i do understand that this is not necessarily easy to handle for everybody even if atlassian made sure everybody knows in which direction the company will go but from an emotional standpoint, yet yeah, they totally understand every aspect. A rational mind might come to the conclusion that Atlassian Cloud strategy is without an alternative. And I really say without any alternatives. And that's not because it's without an alternative for Atlassian, but it's also for you without any alternatives sooner or later. And that's not because server is ending or not, not anymore supported by Atlassian. It's really, si really simple because it's very important to understand. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to uh, display here in, in, in my, my lightning talk. Um, just a preliminary remark. Do not get hasty and don't panic at all. If, even if you don't like the idea of like end of server, um, that that's what exactly what we are telling our clients at the moment as a Atlassian Platinum Solution Partner. There is no need to panic. You have plenty of time until end of support in 2024. It's neither doomsday nor the end of the world. It's just a change, and it's a change for the good in the long run. And it is a journey. Atlassian made sure it's the headline from Atlassian uh, journey to cloud and moving on to serverland, uh, from, away from serverland, sorry, uh, to cloud. Um, if you need orientation on how to organize all this change and what has to be done, there are plenty of brilliant solution partners to help you. We are here to explore the options with you and find a way. And nothing will be like today in 12 months or 24 months. What I don't want to do right now is like explaining every single aspect of the 
and observer plus the new pricing plus the challenges you might face while moving on. I assume you read it all in the news. You got already tons of mails from Atlassian, Solution Partner, App Vendors, and so on and so on. I will try to give you a perspective and a little orientation that underlines why I do think that there is no alternative for the good. By now you already realized that I did change the title and all the slides yesterday night after I read something. We'll come to that later on. Uh, and yes, I already mentioned I truly support the strategy of going cloud by Atlassian 100%. Uh, I don't think that I will necessarily convert someone of you who's not a fan or not, not, not uh, looking in that direction, uh, but I, at least I can try. It is simple as it is. Well, that's my, my opinion. You need to innovate on the fly. You innovate or die business-wise if you don't. That does not apply only to Atlassian. It applies to every single company in the world without a single exception, and it applies to you, of course, to you as well. There's no cheating, there's no freezing in time. This disruptive change you face today, not because you need to, or somebody is forcing you to, to, to move to Atlassian Cloud, uh, just like in, in general, the disruptive change you face today is really nothing, and I repeat, nothing compared with, with all the things to come. Because we only started to explore all the possibilities and disruptive technologies and changes that will massively change beyond your imagination. Back to the cloud. Cloud enables you to do things, as mentioned, beyond imagination. You just don't know about it completely. I don't know it. I, I really don't know what, what, what future will bring. Um, that's totally okay, because nobody knows exactly. But the writing is on the wall, isn't it? Because cloud, at the end of the day, it is a strategic platform and technology, technology decision. It is about abilities. And who thinks a technical migration to cloud is the journey that Lessin is talking about? Well, that's actually wrong. It's not true. And I don't think they are talking about this when they say journey to cloud. Because the technical migration, that's just a project, that's a craftsmanship work, that's a migration. Uh, and it, it might be tricky and it's challenging, but so what? That's just doable in the end of the day. It's nothing that will be a doomsday or end of life or whatever. Um, it's, it's just one thing you need to adapt, you need to do sooner or later. Just think of, just I just throw a couple of buzzwords at you. Machine learning, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, data ops, quantum technology, you just name it. And that's certainly no news at all. That's not surprising. You have heard this all before. But that's literally the essence of the true journey to cloud. Being able to innovate and adopt fast, really fast, is key. Being able to deliver with the speed of light is just necessary. It's not, as mentioned, it, it does not apply to Atlassian only. It applies to every single company. It doesn't have to be a software company. As you see with all the automotive automotive um, OEMs at the moment. Last night, I, I, I already told you, I accidentally stumbled upon an interesting, very interesting LinkedIn post I can share later on from 2015 about the impact cloud has on the technical debt. That was really light, enlightening. Uh, it, it just describes how how like the the, the cloud, the speed of development, and all the things that come with it 
uh, will make your technical debt even harder to overcome if you don't act now, or at least you should start planning. And in, in, in my eyes, server, as it is now, at least it will be soon, a technical debt for every single company. Maintaining server, heavily customizing things, as it is now. Without cloud and its abilities, it's easy to predict. You just fall behind sooner or later. As you can see, I don't have too many different shiny slides for today. That's simply because I changed the entire the entire um, uh, uh, speech uh, talk yesterday. Every slide needed to get rearranged. Uh, but I, I, I want to tell you one more. I want to share one more thought regarding the journey, the true journey to cloud, as I call it. Like building connected and future-proof applications and services simply does need a solid cloud foundation to adopt this furious pace and fast evolving changes. Otherwise, you just can't do. There's simply no valid alternative. If you do not adopt at a certain stage, you get just washed away, full stop, end of story. It applies to every single company, as mentioned, not only to Atlassian. With the velocity of change and innovation, constantly moving things forward with this speed, this is now an incredible hard hurdle to get over consistently for everyone. Your business will have to develop new ideas, products, and services that your customers highly value, and you will have to do it faster than anyone else around you. The question is, how do you manage that? Well, the answer for Atlassian is quite obviously, you have to have a cloud-first strategy to keep up here. The true journey to cloud just started, and you will need all the abilities only cloud will be able to support. All the buzzwords, remind them, to support you with the essence. Anything else might work well for a little while, but not for really long. And that's a promise. And that's really like the writing on the wall as mentioned. Bottom line, adopting successfully and fast means your business does survive. And you should always give credits. I was inspired by Erica Brown. Some of these sort of thoughts uh, are just like sort of stolen and uh, remixed. My recommendation, uh, you can challenge me later on on all what I said. Uh, change your mindset if needed. Make sure you start thinking about how and when you can do the great leap forward. Sorry, I really, I really should not use that phrase. It's from another context. Plan carefully, don't be hasty, but start thinking about it. Do you need to be an early adopter? Certainly not, not necessarily. Do you need to be a fast adopter? Yes, always, always, always. Coming to an end, uh, what, what, what we do like from our like perspective as a Atlassian solution partner, we try to provide guidance. And that's why we started a cloud and data center assessment cost fee for everybody who is interested um, and getting a, like a deeper look into it uh, to have a smooth transition to addressing cloud or data center deployment. If you think the, your requirements don't match with the addressing cloud right now, I can promise it will in one, two or three years. Uh, if it's not ready now, it will be. You have a look at the roadmap, please. And uh, yeah, well, that's uh, one service we offer cost free at the moment. As promised, there are some contact details. Please get in touch. Uh, please get in touch. And Daniel, you need to come over to the backstage. I hope you listened carefully. Otherwise, because now I stop. And I hope everybody sort of 
followed this and understood. Thank you very much. So I'm the applause. That's the only <laughs> thing missing on this platform. You don't have a have a, a audience reel like uh, everybody laughing, everybody applause. <laughs>